day. Shalom, Akim, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakabadash. I'm allowed to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. <coughs> Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. It was in this gospel, God, lift up the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson to the spirit. Um, regarding the blood moon, um, basically Esau tried to hide it. Okay, because um, if you notice, they were spraying chemtrails heavily last night and yesterday afternoon. Um, I woke up, <clears throat> I want to say I went to bed pretty early last night. So before I went to bed, I looked outside and it was pretty clear in the area where I live in. And I was like, oh, okay, well, we may uh, get a chance to see it. Because I set a timer when it comes in in totality, which was 418 Central Standard Time, uh, my time. So um, I woke up around 2 o'clock. Spirit said, go outside and look up. So we had a completely clear sky. You had clouds that was off in the horizon, so to speak. But the moon was clear as day. And I'm like, oh shit, great, you know, your pa, you're getting ready to see this blood moon, you know. And all of a sudden, my alarm clock woke me up like 4.15. And all of a sudden, <laughs> what do you know? A, a fucking sky full of clouds, man. Okay, and what's so significant about this is the fact that it took place on election day. Or on election day, which is the midterm elections, when basically the Democrats and the Republicans are going to vote on who's going to take the House, and it's looking like the Republicans are going to take the House because the uh, the Republicans are going to take the House because the Democrats, I mean, they totally fucked the place up, and it's already been messed up. It's already been a, a, a game of both sides being played. But overall, they've really done a number on the people, and the people are literally tired of the, the Democratic Party, okay? Because they really want this guy Biden overthrown. Because they realize that he's not qualified and he has the worst presidential, uh, he's the worst presidential candidate on history, okay? And we told you that this guy Biden was going to come in and mess things up and he was going to afford the plans of the bankers and so forth. And he basically just finished what Obama started. For all you out there that may have an ear to hear, okay? But nonetheless, man, I came outside with nothing but clouds in the, in the sky. And like it is now, it's an overcast because he wants to hide his judgment, Okay? He wants to hide his judgment, but regardless of that, the fact that that phenomenon was there, okay, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is getting ready to bring mass judgment to this planet Earth, as Apostle Tara stated. You have a lot of things that's happening and a lot of uh, activity that's transpiring throughout the media, throughout the world. And Lord's will, later I'll be able to get into this little lesson on uh, the riots across the world. Okay, I have uh, here... Uh, and look, that's crazy because this is the weather for the day, which is Tuesday. It's going to be straight clouds. But also, um, global protest tracker. And the scriptures say that there will be uprisings, I mean, riots and so forth around the world globally for the great day of the Lord. So these things, man, hey, brothers, we're that close, okay? Because like Apostle Tara said, he said, look, I don't see Esau going to 2025. And me, I can attest to that. I don't see him going that far. Lord's will, he doesn't. But, you know, this is all in the hands of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and whatever they deem fit will happen. But I'm praying the Lord don't, don't, don't allow this man to go that far, man. Honestly speaking, 2023, I pray next year be the end of this man for good and we can be in the kingdom. And we can be doing what we got to do, man, as a people. Because this shit has went on long enough, okay, with this world, with these people. It's just getting old. People are just tiring out. You know, people have no spirit, no life left in them. Everybody's all juiced up. Everybody's aggravated. And that spirit of... of of, of tiredness and worn out is, is coming upon the men of the Lord and it starts mentally okay because we're mentally worn out from this place and I can honestly say that like I mean I wake up I'm good you go to bed early you're energetic but when I come around people that's in an off spirit it really instantly drains your spirit okay so I just got a precept here man because Esau thinks he's slick man he thinks that he's oh well since I sprayed the chemtrails you know nobody's gonna know that it was a blood moon but dude we know, and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has revealed you, man. Okay? So this is the book of uh, Acts, the second chapter, 16th verse. Okay? And it says, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And you can read about this account in uh, Joel, the, uh, I believe it's Joel, the second chapter, 2 and 21. But it says, and it shall come to pass in the last day, says Yahweh, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Okay? All flesh, because, hey, you got this guy Kyrie, or you had Kyrie. Which he's basically took an apologetic stance to the coming out with the Hebrews to Negroes screenshot. Okay, he didn't even go in details about the documentary. He just posted a clip on his Twitter, and all of a sudden, these small hats, these hateful fucking people, are literally just all over this guy, man, like flies on shit. Okay, he didn't even say nothing. 
and then you got this guy Ye, which he's talking about. He's going on a uh, 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 a verbal fast, I meaning they shut him up. Okay, then you got LeBron James. Basically, he's trying to be neutral, giving Kyrie his props, but at the same time, he took a back seat to what Esau was saying. Then you got Charles Barkley and this other nigga. What's this guy's name? Uh, Barkley and uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Okay, Shannon Sharp, and then you got this other reprobate, which we're gonna have to get on him too, by the name of uh, Charleston McNigger White. Okay, that guy's a total degenerate, man. He's a primary example on what Esau. He's the product of a nigga in America. He said, I ain't no Hebrew Israelite. I'm a real nigga. I'm a nigga. I'm born from a nigga. You got damn right you a nigga, man, because the Lord rejected your monkey ass. That's why you talking that shit. All right, and the Mosai is going to destroy you too, nigga. All right, because you a fucking lie. One thing I hate is a nigga that always talking, running his fucking mouth, man. Nigga that always want to be heard and seen. I hate, I, I can't stand niggas like that. Like, bro, just shut up, man. Talking all the time. The script is going to, it says, even a fool is counting wise when he keeping his mouth shut. All right, speaking and talking shit, pouring out a bunch of madness. Like, at, at some time when you talk, you got to stop and think about what the fuck are you saying. But yeah, you keep rumbling, knowing and knowing and knowing like a goddamn cackle, man. All right? Just like a fucking woman always running your goddamn mouth. Now, it's a point when you got to get your point across. You know, you say what you got to say. Say your piece. Sometimes your piece may be a little longer than normal, but you say your piece and you leave it alone. You don't keep talking, man. The point is being made. You, you leave it alone. Okay? But anyway, uh, going here, it says, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters of prophecy, and your young men should see visions, and your old men should dream dreams. Now, with that being said, you have all sorts of videos coming out on YouTube. You have these alternative news media channels. You have uh, forecasts. You have people that's seeing the global economy. All, all these things are aiding in the ministry of the men of the Lord. Okay? Because if you go to the book of Psalms, the 19th chapter, it goes into how the uh their line went out from them and it went into all the ends of the earth roughly paraphrasing it going into the internet because people are now voicing their opinions on how they feel about what's happening in the world and with these politicians and with these presidential candidates and these world wars people are expressing how they feel about them you see and they're vocal about it and it's all aiding in the ministry of the prophets because we're using information through extrapolation through the scriptures and we're filtering these things through the scriptures man okay and that's how we come up with these lessons all right like apostle Tahar said if you ain't put out a sit down in two weeks you ain't of the elect man you got guys that go months without doing sit downs man you know but you call yourself a man of the lord no man because it's too much shit to be going on for you to not have nothing to speak about you see and usually when you get in a roadblock like that that's satan messing with your mind and you got to pray on that man okay you got to pray because that slothful spirit come among all of us you know, but it just, if you're going to fight through that slothfulness or not. But how can you be a man of the Lord and you ain't doing shows, man? Okay, it's more than just calling yourself a Hebrew Israelite or going out on a weekend. This is a lifestyle. Like, how should I say? We was in the synagogues teaching daily, man. Okay, daily. All right. And it says here, And on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in the heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. Uh, blood, fire, and vapor, and smoke. And the sun should be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord. And it should come to pass that whosoever should call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right? So I'm going to end it there, brothers, man. Co worker coming back, giving all praises and glory under the DT Howl by Shimmy Shai. And with that, to the next session, Shalom and a Baba Ball.